Welcome back. Super excited. Moving forward in this lesson, I'm going to briefly demonstrate how to add a background image to your first screen. So here's our sample app. In our previous lesson, we took a look at how we can actually use color combination using a simple tool and some nice technique that I demonstrated. So here, we are going to actually change this white background to an image, right? Because we're building our first page. So let's jump right in. In order to change the image, of course, of course, you need images, right? That's the first point. So recall the resource folder contains a subfolder called drawable. And this is the folder where all your images are. So at this point in time, I do not have any images. So first I need to simply take some images and drop them here or copy in this particular folder. So let's do that. Let's go to Explorer. So here are some sample images. I'm just going to copy them and then go back to my Android and then make sure my drawable folder is selected and click paste. And this is going to bring up a dialog box, copy specified files into the drawable folder, click OK. And you'll notice that all of these images are now being copied into this folder. Pretty straightforward. So if I need to take a look at a certain image. I can simply open this image and it will show me the preview. Okay, so this image name is road 5. Similarly, I have road 4 and so on. So I can open just to make sure I have all these images. So once I have all these images, what do I do? How do I actually bring an image of my choice as a background? Okay, so within my activity, make this bigger let me drag this so under activity main that XML I just need to add a new line to my XML right because remember XML is storing and bringing data so I'm just telling XML to bring some more data so I'm going to go ahead and say Android and of course the IntelliSense comes up right and it knows exactly what I need to do so as soon as I do Android background and it brings up the background so I just select this the enter key and IntelliSense understands that I would like a background to be a color accent, primary color, or whatever, right? So I can either scroll down and take a look at if I need to use any of the existing ones. So for instance, I like to use the road seven, right? So notice the syntax is at sign, drawable folder, and then of course the name of the file. So I can simply select road seven and perfect so it shows up it places the image right on my app if I need to change the image I can simply type the name myself road 4 and again this way it's kind of neat because now I know exactly where and how my images are going to look like on the app itself so let's try another one road 1 which is kind of okay Similarly, road seven. And again, you can try it based on your own app that you're actually developing, right? Road two. And then it's gonna continue on with all of these, okay? I have uh, the one that we're gonna use for this particular app is 20K, okay? That's what I wanna use. So this is quite simply how you can actually use a background name, your own choice. Of course, I'm gonna take a look at the constraints and all of that next as we move along and building these apps but in this example just wanted to quickly demonstrate how easy it is to port your app. If you were to take a look at in the visualizer of course you need to apply the changes first. Gradle is going to build, it's going to execute on the bottom here and in just a short while you're going to see that our emulator will change the actual and display the actual image that you've selected. So here it is, it's coming up and shortly it should display the perfect looking nice so in the center so you can actually see so this is what our app is going to look like okay it's going to have a nice combination of the color combination for the menu app and then of course we have a background image and this is a good starting point for us to move forward and continue with our app so if you have any questions post them in the discussion area glad to help practice with homework go ahead incorporate as many backgrounds as you can as you like.
and then with this let's move to the next lesson